Hi everyone, let's talk about cases in Salesforce. Now, what is a case? A case is literally just a customer's question, some customer's feedback, or a customer issue. We can actually relate cases to each other using case relationships with the parent case lookup field. We can just enter in another case there and build a hierarchy of cases. This is really fantastic for grouping cases around similar topics. Now cases also have a case history related list on the case detail page which tracks changes to a case. Anytime a user modifies any of the standard or custom fields whose history has been set to be tracked, that's important, all right? The history has to be set to be tracked on any standard or custom fields that you want included here. But if they have been, then a new entry is added to the case history list anytime those are updated. All the entries will include the date of the update, the time of the update, the nature of the change, and who made the change. Cases can also have contact roles, which are used to record literally the different roles that contacts would have in a case. For example, you might have a case come in from a customer that involves multiple contacts. Perhaps one of them is the one with the problem, and the other one might be a super helpful mum <laughs> or a very encouraging manager who has also got involved for some added intensity. <laughs> we might create a contact role for these called primary, which we might associate to the person with the problem, and then influencer, which we might associate to someone else who's coming in that holds a bit more influence. You can create whatever contact roles you want and the contract role related list will be added to the case page layout. Now, deleting cases is a very important topic to cover because if you delete a case, you are also going to delete all related events, all related tasks, all related case comments, and all related attachments. What it's not going to do is delete any associated solutions, which makes a lot of sense because a solution can be applied to multiple cases and we don't want to delete an entire solution that could help out a lot of different cases just because we delete one little case. That's it for an intro to cases. I hope that you learned something new and I'll see you back here next time.